Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter beginner tutorial. In this session we are going to see what is JSON extractor and how do you use JSON extractor in JMeter. So we are going to go very basic step by step and learn everything about JSON extractor. So what JSON extractor is, it is used to fetch values from a JSON response and then is used to store the values in variables and then refer the stored values in any subsequent steps or requests. So this is what JSON extractor is and let us go to our JMeter and see how exactly we use it. So I am using JMeter 4.0 and here I will very quickly create a new thread group and inside the thread group I am going to add a HTTP request sampler and we have to add any sample API request that will fetch us a JSON response. So let us go to our browser and I will search for sample REST API request and we have got multiple options. So let us go to this REQ RES and here they have some very good API requests so you have a GET and then you have post and delete and so on. So we are going to go with this get list of users. So I will just copy this URL and go to a new browser tab and paste it here. And then I will copy the request path which is this one. And again go to the new browser tab and paste it here and hit enter. And yes, we are getting the JSON response. However, this is not very well formatted. So let us go to any online JSON formatter or beautifier. And let us go to this one. And here I will copy the JSON response and say beautify. And you can see we have got this beautiful JSON response. So this is very good for our example. It has these uh, JSON values and then this data for three users. So we will use this. So what I'm going to do is I will copy this URL, go to my JMeter and in the HTTP request, I'm going to add this. So HTTPS will come in the protocol. So I will add HTTPS in the protocol in the server name or IP. I will keep this and the rest of the things will go in the path section. I can also give page in the parameters I can add parameters here but for now let it be as it is and now we have our request ready just to validate I am going to add a listener view results tree and let us run it and validate I will save this and let us see yes we are getting a response and we are getting a JSON response. So our request is successful and now we have to extract any value from the JSON response. So for that what I'm going to do is go to your request, do a right click, go to add post processors JSON extractor. So this adds a JSON extractor and here we will learn about all the fields of JSON extractor. So in case you use any API specifically having JSON response. So this is going to be very very useful and important. So please watch this carefully. So the very first field is name. So you can give any name here. I am keeping it default and then you have the section to apply to. So this tells you that what section do you apply this JSON extractor to. So you can apply to main sample, sub samples, main sample, sub samples only or a JMeter variable. So then we have the name of the variable. So you can give any name of the variables here. So this is the variable where the values will be stored. So I'm saying user one and then you have the JSON path expression. So here you have to give the expression that will fetch the values from your JSON response. So let us see in our case, we have this JSON response. Uh, yes, we have this JSON response. So let us suppose I want to fetch ID. Now you can see ID is at the second level. At the first level, we have these elements page per page, total 
total pages, data, etc. ID, first name, last name, avatar are all on the second level. So what I'm going to do is go to my JMeter and here the syntax is dollar and dot and this will fetch the first level elements but because id is at the second level i will again put a dot and then give the name of the element or parameter which is id so this will fetch id from the json response which is at the second level now if you keep random match number as empty or say zero it will match any random value for the id so if you can see in our example we have three ids all at the same level so if we do not give anything in the match number or keep it as zero then it can fetch any of these ids but if we want some particular id let's suppose i want to get this id 5 which is the second id so in that case i will say here 2 so it will always fetch the second id and then if I want to give any default values, default values means if your JSON expression does not fetch any value, then this particular default value will be used. But in our case, I want to keep it as blank. And for compute concaten concatenation, I will just tell you in a moment. So uh, let us now test this. And to test what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run and select step-by-step -step debugger. Now in case you do not have this step-by-step -step debugger or you do not know how to use it I have created a session earlier where I have uh, shown how to add and use step-by-step -step debugger also you can get it from this menu icon step-by-step -step debugger so I will click this and we have got this step-by-step -step debugger window I will expand everything and say start and now you can see it has started and highlighted HTTP request so it will run this one also if you can see down in the variable section as of now our variable user1 has not yet come so I will click step over and now it has come to JSON extractor I will keep click step over again and now you can see our variable user1 has come and it has fetched the second ID which is 5 and also it shows us the total count of IDs which is 3 so this is working now also what you can do is in case you want to extract more than one values what you can do is you can give multiple variables separated by a semicolon so I'm saying user2 and of course you have to give the equal number of JSON path expressions separated by a semicolon so I also want the first name okay so this should extract the ID and the first name at the second level so let me just save and go to step by step debugger and expand and start and see so there is uh, some error let me go back and yes in this case I also have to give the default values so I will give the default values as well and then let me save and go to step by step debugger again expand and start step over step over and now you can see it has taken user 1 as 5 and user 2 the first name as Charles so this is working fine now in case you give it minus 1 here so the other thing that you can do is if you give minus one here what this will do is it will fetch all the values and then what it is going to do is it will store the values in this variable and a underscore num and the count so let me show you what exactly it will do is if I save this and go to step by step debugger and start step over step over do you see what it has done it has taken user1 underscore 1 is 4 user1 underscore 2 is 5 user1 underscore 3 is 6 which is the IDs so it has stored all the IDs that it has found in the JSON response in our variable and it has given underscore 1 underscore 2 underscore 3 so this is how it can automatically find all the 
values and store it in a new variables so if you give minus one here it will do that way also let me show you how to use the other option so if I let me just remove the second one here and here also and now I am saying compute concatenation variable as checked so if I run it now let me show you how this works I am going to step by step debugger again expand start and step over and if you have noticed we have got a new variable which is user1 our variable and it has appended underscore all to the name and then it has stored all the values of IDs separated by comma so this is again a very useful thing in case you are working with some complex JSON queries you can use this as well so this is how it will be used and of course you can see user1 underscore 1 user1 underscore 2 and user1 underscore 3 this is we have got because we have given minus 1 in our match number okay so this is how you can use the JSON extractor and now to actually use it what we have to do is let us say I have to add a new request here I will say right click add a new HTTP request and here I want to add a request to get a particular user so if I go back to our sample rest API request we have this get to get a single user I will just again copy this and add to a new browser and this is what we should be getting I'm copying this and again going to the new browser and I will add it here okay so if I run this it fetches a particular user based on the ID so we are getting the result for user with ID 2 so if I take this request from here and go to my JMeter and add it here in a new request so of course HTTPS will come in the protocol and this let me use this in the path field and of course this is a get and if I now run this so let me run this so yes we are getting the results here however what I have to do is to make the actual use of JSON extractor here instead of using a hard-coded value I want to use the value which is which has come from my JSON extractor variable so what we have used is we have used user1 as the variable so what I will do is the syntax is dollar and inside curly braces I will give the variable name which is user1 so this will append whatever value is stored in user1 in this path and that is coming from our JSON extractor so let me again fetch the second value here and yes so it should fetch the second value which is for uh, the second ID which is 5 this one and then it should append it to the next request and then give us the details of this particular user so let us see and let me run this so I will clear all the results and run this so yes our request is successful and the second one as well we have got the details of user with ID 5 so this is how you can make use of JSON extractor in Gmeter I hope this session was very useful for you if you like the session please hit the like button and share with others and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel I will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching